But this line really struck me, and I, I'm reading because I want to make sure I get it right. I sometimes wonder if I would have become an athlete if I was able-bodied, and I don't think I would have because I wouldn't have had to prove myself so much in those early years. That makes you emotional, <laughs> hearing that back. There's, there's just a lot to unpack there. Um, I think if you, if you think about what disability was like in particular in the early 1990s, when I lost my leg, my parents' biggest concern was uh, the opportunities that I wouldn't have as opposed to my twin sister growing up because I had a disability. Um, and so to be able to use sport and see sport as this really wonderful platform and to be hurt by it ultimately at the end of the day was really heartbreaking, but it has given me a lot of wonderful, wonderful things. Um, and I know that the athletes that are going to be training for Brisbane 2032 are going to have a very different story to tell. What is in store for you now? What next? I am so excited. Well, firstly, I'm, I've been retired for six months from swimming and I'm very much enjoying... You're far too young to be retired. I am That's so <laughs> excited um, about the opportunities that are out there um, for athletes who are transitioning into the corporate world. I'm working very closely with my sponsors still. Um, Give them a plug, because the fact <laughs> they've stuck with you once you've retired is a really good thing. Optus and Toyota have been well standing by me for a very, very long time. Um, APM as well, which have been incredible in teaching me on diversity inclusion outside of sport as well. Um, but my biggest dream is to be the chef de mission of the 2032 Paralympic team. So oh, I love that. I'm putting it out there right now. Um, I really want to be able to be part of the team again, but on the other side of the fence and make sure that the environment for athletes is as wonderful as it was um, when Kate McLaughlin was our chef de mission for our Paralympic team. She made my experience in um, Tokyo and Rio so incredible. So I want to be able to do the same thing for athletes. I'm going to get this tape, label it <laughs> and put it somewhere away because I'm sure as hell probably won't still do <laughs> Is, hopefully it will be, yeah. <laughs> and we'll bring it back out. Uh, thank you so very much. I, I think you've done an incredible job and your article was really eye-opening and I think that, that athletes here in Australia will have a better experience off the back of your incredible efforts and, and speaking out because it's brave to do so. Thank you, so much. thank you so much. Really appreciate it.